Hello, welcome back to our quiz series using view 3. Now we are going to implement the timer feature so that this timer actually runs down to zero. And when it does get to zero, we skip to the next question if it's available. So let us look at how we might implement a feature. So let me head over to where we have the timer container. You can see I left the comments there. And this blue portion is this element right here. So what I would do to be able to kind of like create an animation where this is going down, I would add an inline style. And the inline style is going to be, let's say, the width. So, for example, let me just put the width at uh, 30% and I'll save. So, what you notice is that the blue portion is now a little bit smaller because we chose 30%. So, if we were to make this 100%, I believe it's going to fill up the whole available space. So having this in mind, knowing that we can just tweak this width here and it's going to determine how wide the blue portion is. So therefore we can play around with this particular number here. So if we can set up a script or a function that kind of like counts down and as it's counting down is changing this particular number, that should give us the kind of look we'll, uh, we're going for that as the animation. So let us try that out. So let's head down to where we have our scripts. And what I would do first is I'll just create a variable. So call it let timer. And because I want this variable to be reactive, I'll make it a ref. And the maximum value is going to be 100. In fact, the reason for putting 100 here is because I know at the beginning of the question, the timer should be at the width 100%. So I would also go down to where you have return, kind of like export that value so that I can use it in the template or rather in the HTML tags. Okay, so let me just go back to where we have the timer container, which is right here. So this width portion this hundred I want to replace it by whatever the value of the timer is which just uh, created I'm going to use template strings so I'm going to bind this style attribute the way uh, V does it so what I'm do here it's I'll just leave this for now I'm going to get rid of it but let me just go to a new line here and do the style bounding. So I'll put the semicolon, rather column, I'll say style. So this column in front is we're binding this the view way. So I'll say equal to my back ticks and I'll say width and I'll put my column and I'll just let me just type the hundred percent as it is. So let me delete this first one because I don't need any more. So this should still work. In fact, I'm just going to save it and it still works. So even if I'm to change this value to say 50, anything, it still affects the blue element, which is still fine. So what I'll do is just, I'll highlight this number portion. I'll put the dollar sign and curly bracket. And in that curly bracket, I'm going to put timer. Now this ties itself to the reactive value that we created here and at the beginning this value is a hundred so when i save and the page refreshes here it's going to be hundred so just be sure that it's working fine i just change this to let's say 20 as the timer here and i'll save you can see the value goes uh, down so just leave it a hundred Okay, cool. So what we want to set up now, it's like a function that will run maybe every few milliseconds. And that function is going to keep minus a one from the timer value. That way, 
the animation works so let's just uh, let me try and minimize some of this i kind of know that my code is getting long don't worry by the end of the series we're going to do more like a cleanup to separate this in some other files and uh, so that it looks neater but for now just bear with me and try and follow along so let me just uh, create a function here before my unmounted my life cycle hook uh, let's create const count let's call it countdown timer and it's gonna be a function yeah okay so what i want to do in this function is to set interval so at every interval something happens so let me just select let me call it interval equal to set interval now interval takes a, a callback function so you can just go ahead and put the callback function in this case i'm using an arrow, arrow function so what i'm going to do here is just say timer that value and i want to decrement that and i also need to specify um like this decrement at what interval do i want to run this decrement so just come after my function my cover function i put a comma uh let's see 150 milliseconds okay so i get a warning let's see interval is assigned but never used okay that's fine so what i'll do is i'll just get rid of this for now let's just say inside this function i'll just say count out timer and I'll just set interval okay so when do we run this so when the when the quiz is mounted so in my unmounted i'm going to add count down timer i'll save so what you can see is that the the blue portion is going down so every 150 millisecond uh we minus one from the timer value so this is fine this works but you can see when the timer runs out it kind of comes back and i'm pretty sure that the timer is still that the set interval is still running somewhere in our code so let us kind of do something that checks if the timer is more than zero then it should decrease if not then don't do anything i'm gonna come back to my set interval let me put back my interval to. the reason i'm doing this is because i want to be able to either cancel the timer or not count down at all if the value is zero okay so what i'm gonna do is inside my setting interval where i have this time at the value before i even start removing anything i need to check is my timer more than zero so i'll say if timer the value is greater than zero and then i would like to of course reduce it and else i'll just leave the else empty so i'll just take this portion i'll cut it and i'll put it inside well, the block of code where we have if timer is greater than zero so if timer is greater than zero i would like to decrease else let me just console log to see say timer is up to show that the timer is up but then we need to do something else okay because even if uh, we leave it this way everyone gets a zero and this portion runs the the code keeps running so we use clear interval so say clear interval so and i need to pass in the name of the variable here which is interval so this interval what it does is a set interval kind of like returns an id and then if this timer value is less than zero or equal to zero as the case might be we clear that interval that we initially started on line 184 okay i hope that makes sense so i'll save still works so it's going down so let's see if we can catch that uh, timer is up when this gets down to zero good so it says timer is up and you can see the blue bar doesn't come back because the interval has actually stopped so i'll count down 
timer it's running but let's use that in the quiz itself for example if i were to choose java the time doesn't go back to start again it just remains finished and this is not what we want so when we click or we make a choice we want to be able to reset uh, reset that time right back to 100 let me go to load question so that uh, when it loads the question yeah it returns the timer to 100 so i'm load questions if the length is more than of course it should load the question so here i'll say timer the value equal to 100 so whenever it loads the question it sets the value to 100 so if i were to choose a question here it goes back to 100 if i were to pick the question here it goes back to 100 but one thing you might have noticed is that there's kind of like a delay like let me just wait a bit so that this thing gets a little bit uh near zero then when i make a pick let's say i choose is a possibility that it might still run down to zero okay so what i would do it's apart from where we load the question i'm also going to add uh like when you make a choice it should reset the timer again back to 100 so in fact we need to put it in two places when it loads the question the timer should be 100 and when we click also it should take the timer to 100 so where i have option clicked under where you have if the user can actually click uh, okay before I can click it's false i can add timer the value equal to 100 so click comes back click comes back click comes back okay so in next video what we are going to do is we're going to implement an end of quiz overlay so when we get to the end of the quiz or we're out of questions we display that overlay so if you've been enjoying the series please hit that like button it really goes a long way to encourage me to make more videos and don't forget to subscribe so i'll see you in the next video